positive displacement boundary is explained in this topic. So you might have heard of the term positive displacement boundary. You might be wondering why they are actually called so. So that is being explained in this topic with their advantages and some examples. So why a positive displacement boundary is called so? Uh, you can uh, check this point positive. What is called positive? Positive means there is something uh, to deliver always. There is something positively happening. Displacement is something we are giving. So that means a positive displacement pump is a pump which always creates a, a discharge or a flow uh, while it works. So simply a positive displacement pump or those pumps which can create a flow or uh, which can create a discharge when it simply functions or when it simply works. Generally, this positive displacement pump can be classified into two. Uh, the first one is rotary type pump and the other one is the reciprocating type pump. So now let's see the rotary type pump. These are two uh, gears. One is the driving gear and the other one is the driven gear. This is the inlet and this is the outlet. So these gears will be rotating uh, in this direction. The top one will be rotating in clockwise direction and the bottom one will be in anti-clockwise direction. So the fluid flow will be happening through the casing like this. Okay. So whenever these gears are rotating or whenever this pump is functioning, a discharge will be created no matter what the uh, discharge pressure is. So if we close the outlet port, still there will be a discharge happening. That means the oil will be pumped towards this uh, section of the pump and uh, the pressure will be developing over here. Even the discharge is closed. So as the pressure develops further, it will result in the failure or the mechanical failure of this pump so that's why a positive displacement pump can never work with a closed discharge unless it has a relief valve in it or a safety valve inside it that's the same happening with the reciprocating type pump so uh, this is a piston actually it moves to and fro and this is the inlet and here you can see the inlet valve and this is the outlet here we have the outlet valve so when the piston moves backwards the inlet opens up, this bowl moves up towards and the oil will come here and as uh, the piston moves inside, what happens is that this oil will be moving through uh, this valve, this bowl will move upside and the oil escapes towards the outlet. So that's how a reciprocating type pump works. That's also a positive displacement pump. Whenever this pump works, there will be a displacement. So if you close the outlet, what happens is that pressure will develop at this region and result in the mechanical failure of uh, the reciprocating type pump. Okay, now let's see uh, the advantage of a positive displacement pump. Uh, the advantage of a positive uh, displacement pump is that it is at a high efficiency. It works at a very high efficiency. And the disadvantage is that the failure can happen if the discharge is closed and it doesn't have a uh, safety valve or a a relief valve and also the maintenance cost of a uh, positive displacement pump is much higher compared to uh, other type of pumps. Uh, some of the examples of positive displacement pumps are rotary log pump, rotary gear pump, uh, screw pump, vein pump, uh, regenerative or uh, peripheral type pump, peristatic pump, uh, diaphragm pump, or like progressive cavity pump, etc. are the examples of positive displacement pump. So um, I believe you got an idea about positive displacement pump. And one more thing or point you need to note is that uh, fluid pressure is increased by volume displaced. So the amount of volume or the higher amount of volume getting displaced, the uh, pressure will increase or it will uh, result in the pressure to increase by a positive displacement pump. So the positive displacement pump creates an increase in pressure by delivering a more on discharge. That's how the pressure can be developed or can be increased with the help of a positive displacement pump. So um, it also produces safe flow at a given speed or an RPM no matter what the discharge pressure is. That's what I said. If the pump is working at a, a constant speed, it uh, produces a definite flow or a fixed amount of flow no matter what the discharge pressure will be. That means even if it is closed, it will be creating a flaw or will be creating a discharge. So if you like this topic, 
please subscribe to us for more uh, tutorial videos or please click the like button or do drop a comment so that we can improve in our coming videos thanks for watching this video